third phase of moon. Third. Third phase moon. Phase. We're right now with Alex from UK. Hi there. Good morning. Hey, appreciate it. Thanks for joining us right here at Third Phase Moon. I just got a look at your footage. I spent all day on it right here, uh, stabilizing it. We're gonna get a close look at whatever you captured is. Well, I'm gonna headline it right now. Humanoid. It's a humanoid. It looks um, like it a... reminded me a lot of the video I've seen a year or two back of some entity or humanoid sort of hovering above a hilltop. I think the video was of. Um, and it resembled sort of quite closely that, almost like a floating balloon, but with some sort of movement. So I caught my eye and grabbed my camera and sent it to you. I hope you can do some, uh, some stabilization and get a bit of a sharp image. It gets pretty sharp, I think, anyhow. Um, but I hope you can do some professional editing to it. Well, I think you're going to like what we, uh, what we did with your video, Alex. Uh, we're going to put it up right after we get off the phone. And share it to the world but basically alex is when we're looking at this my brother is calling it the batman like <laughs> cool what you're saying is in your email is you're saying you said you got your binoculars right after it yeah. left your point of view and you said it looked like you could see some kind of like muscular activity tell me about what you saw hey, um I, I sat at my desk in my laptop um i sort of glanced up and saw it moving above the building in front of me over the window, grabbed my camera, and then it occurred to me to my right on my sort of, uh, on my table, I've got my dad's old binoculars, uh, so I grabbed them and went right to the window, and I was sort of looking through the binoculars and trying to point the phone at the object at the same time, and after it disappeared, I went back to my phone and realized, well, I was looking through the binoculars, I had sort of moved my hand and it had lost, so it wasn't still pointing at the object. I had to edit down that video because I was sort of about a minute's worth of me pointing at, I don't know, me pointing at the floor, basically, with the phone. Uh, but yeah, looking through the binoculars, I saw it for another couple of seconds, and it actually got my heart racing. Um, it really did resemble uh, a figure all dressed in black, crouched down, and I personally believe when I looked through the binoculars, it sort of glanced over its right shoulder, and that's what got my heart racing. Well, you know, Alex... <laughs> that's what I tend to view. What's interesting is, you know, we only got a few seconds of the clip that you just yeah. sent us, and I know when you're seeing UFOs and trying to capture it at the same time, it's not always logistically possible to capture the best footage in the world, but you captured a few seconds of it, and what I'm pretty happy about is when I zoom in on this thing and stabilize it and put all this uh, extra work to get a closer look at what this thing is, it's... it's it doesn't look like any balloon that I've ever seen, but then again, it does. No, it really doesn't. I would love to see that. I haven't seen the work you've done to it. But just to sort of uh, doing freeze frames, uh, going step by step of what I caught, I was able to definitely see some sort of uh, skeletal, skeletal figure, as it were. So sort of I could see legs and feet dangling down. Um, just go frame, go frame by frame. I'm sure with your enhancement, even better. I'd love to see it. Well, I think you're going to be impressed, but one thing is, what it, what is it? That's the big question. <laughs> no idea. I'm thinking, well, people think, there's a few videos out there on the inter internet and YouTube out there called humanoid flying object of some sort. I don't think ever have I come across any humanoid video that we're going to name humanoid. This We're going to call it a humanoid object. Yeah, actually, for the first time. a few sort of flying, I didn't know whether to call it humanoid, but I YouTube a few trying to find the video that I thought it resembled before I emailed you to put it in the, I was going to add a link in the email so that it sort of resembled it. I'll try and find it again today and if I can find it, I'll send it to you and you can link it to the video. Um, so I've definitely seen something that resembled it. Um, maybe, one, maybe one of your listeners can identify it, maybe I'll describe it. It's, sort of, it's only a few seconds long this clip. It's pointed uh, at a hill that's on the left-hand side of the frame, and it looks like there's almost somebody running or moving along the top of the hill that then continues along the same sort of horizontal line. As the hill dips down, this object continues to hover along the screen going from left to right and then disappears out of frame. That object that I've not seen in previous videos resembled a lot of what I videoed yesterday. 
absolutely for sure this uh, humanoid object has even been spotted in Mexico and I know there's a few others around the world but Alex can you tell us exactly where this was captured and at what time maybe other people in the area may have captured the same thing you, you've seen uh, today. I'm about 250 yards from the water uh, to the right hand side um, sort of where the object is appeared the right hand side of the frame about another 30 seconds it would have been over the water um, and I'm in Brighton on the south coast of England and this was about well, just after dinner time yesterday I think Wow, Alex, and... You know, I emailed you within about 10 minutes of capturing it. I think I put that in the video. You know, you check my email, because that would tell me exactly what time it was. Absolutely. We had a premiere to go to. We had Hangar 52 premiere at the Big Island Film Festival uh, for uh, our feature film. When I got your email on the way out, and I wanted to get back to you, and I think it's about 12 hours later, but I'm certainly um, glad to... Yesterday, 6.30 p.m. was when, uh, when I called it. I emailed you at 49, um, and it was right after I filmed it. So yeah, about 6.30 yesterday. So have you showed this uh, footage to any of your friends, any uh, family? What do they think about it? You know what? I put it on my personal Facebook wall for about two seconds, and then took it off, and decided to share it with some people that might you know, have, know what they're looking at better than my group of friends. So I don't spend so it takes very much time researching this phenomena. Uh, so I would like to get some, uh, know, some eyes that have previously seen similar-looking things So let me get this right, Alex. You said you were trying to summon the UFO right before this uh, footage that you I captured. Was watching, uh, I was watching your piece with uh, Robert Bingham, that chap in, uh, I think he went to Redondo Beach and did a, did a segment down there and saw some peculiar object sticking up out of the water. I had just watched that about 30 minutes earlier and had followed Robert Bingham's direction uh, for his summoning protocols. Uh, and to be honest, I honestly didn't think it would work. And I don't know whether this thing I filmed has any correlation to those protocols or not. Uh, but yeah, I did, as I mentioned in my email, I did go through the Rob Singham protocols about 10, 15 minutes before I filmed this object. Fascinating. Alex, I appreciate you sharing your footage with us right here. Yeah, I hope uh, other people can catch some similar things and we can get, uh, you know, everything go out there. Hey, within minutes of uh, people, Alex, yourself, trying to ask to make contact or even show themselves speaking with et possibly something went down or we could be looking at some kind of military exoskeleton uh, flying apparatus that might be uh, available to the public in the near future who knows what it is but alex appreciate it sharing it we're gonna let them share it to the world right now